beautiful fellow yogis, it's me Celeste and I'm going to be teaching you one of the most beautiful poses. It's called Peacock Pose. But the thing about it is it's a bit of a toughie, mostly because we sit down for hours and hours and hours every day and what happens is the muscles first of all in the back get really weak and especially the muscles in your butt, your glutes, they get so weak and then when you try and do this pose there's just no power to get the legs up. So I want to encourage you guys, please be patient with yourselves. Just persevere with it. You'll find that as you get stronger, and this pose will make you stronger in those areas, you'll find that you start to float up, and that all those little niggles that you have in your body, like in your back or your neck or your knees, they'll start to clear up just because you're getting stronger. So I'm very excited to teach you this pose. There are a few things I teach a little different to most teachers just because I was not getting anywhere with the way most people teach it. I was, I was, tr I really gave it my all and my legs weren't lifting. And then I, I came up with a couple of little tweaks and I really want to share them with you. So what I was finding with the way that I was being taught peacock is I wasn't getting my legs up. I was being taught, bring your little fingers together and put your hands right between your knees. And then as you lean forward, the elbows come into your belly. And then you lift your legs up from here. I still can't, <laughs> I still can't do it that way. So I've tweaked the teaching a little bit because I wasn't finding that was working for me. If that way works for you, stick with it. If you're not having any success, then maybe this will help you. I put my hands into a butterfly like this. And I actually have a little gap between my hands. And then instead of having my hands really close, I put mine further away from me. Next step is to imagine you're gonna lean forward. Bend your knees so the heels are really close to your bum, so the extensors, your glutes, and the muscles in your back only have to lift a short lever. And as you lean forward, bring the elbows really, really close to your belly button. Keep the eyes looking forward, and then if you can't lift any of your knees, just imagine they're coming up. Just feel as if there's lightness coming into the back of the legs. If you're managing to get your legs up with the knees bent, your next step is to go there with the knees bent and then start stretching the legs out. So your hands again like a butterfly. They're just as if you're in all fours, that kind of alignment will work. Your chest is gonna start going really far forwards. Your eyes are gonna keep looking forward and as you bend your heels towards your bottom, you're going to start imagining the legs floating up. When they do come up, start reaching out into the legs, floating the feet all the way up, and hold it there. So thank you so much for watching the video and for letting me know how you guys get on. I know I've been getting so many messages on Facebook of people going, Oh my God, I've got into backbend for the first time from playing. And I really hope that you guys are going to find a little easier now to get into your peacock pose. Remember to keep practicing, okay? It takes time. Just be patient. If you haven't been in touch with me, leave me a comment. I promise I'll reply. And I hope to see you again next Sunday for another amazing pose. Until then, namaste. <laughs>